so Dante, just in general, you feel like you're playing as well as you wanted to so far this year? Uh, I feel like I'm missing a lot of opportunities pretty much to, to make that play. There's a couple times where I get stuck down the middle or wrong, like wrong eyes and wrong gap. Uh, but that stuff happens. I mean, I say I, I came in this season not worried about, you know, making every play. You know, I just want to just do my job and do a lot because I, I, I know a lot of teams are, are going like going off me and where I line up. So, you know, I, I want everybody just to do that. Like everybody's do their job and the, the the play will will be made by whoever is is there. So, even if it's me or not, so. You said I remember the beginning. The one thing you want to do was give effort every single play. Yeah. Do, do you feel like you're doing it? Yeah, I'm definitely a lot more. Uh, like, I definitely do get tired. Don't, don't get me wrong. Um, there's a couple of plays where I'll be out there. I'm literally breathing so hard. But I just try to just to stay calm until I, I get a break. Dante, coach was talking earlier about how. They've kind of moved you around a lot this year. That you basically played all four positions up front. Um, is that is that new for you? And then you know, what's that adjustment been like to to move around as much? Um, the only real new like positions like DN, like like actually like in our base defense. So I, I didn't really play a lot of DN like in our base, but I did play last last week. But I I know where the plays go. Like I, I know like the my assignment. Um, you know, I like it, you know, just shows my versatility to be able I could play all four, all five. So I'm just trying to, like I said, just go out there and do what the coach, you know, says and put me in the right um, spot, so. I'm guessing if they move you to, to one end, the play goes the other way, right? Yeah, I mean, there's, 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 there's a lot of plays where I, I, I recognize that, but at the same time, I'm, I'm not really, you know, it's, it happens, you know. It, like, I guess it's props to me, but at the same time, you know, I want, you know, I want everybody to make the play. If it goes that side, I hope, you know, JJ or, you know, league, you know, whoever is you know, around the play to make the play. In the middle, then they run to the outside, right? <laughs> yeah, but, you know, I, 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 it's definitely frustrating. Um, I definitely do get frustrated on the sideline or, you know, during the game where I, I missed the opportunity to make the play or I was right there. I could have made the play. But, you know, I just try to stay calm as possible. You know, I try to, you know, just like – just I try to go back to what I said, you know, just, just do your job, you know, so. How much can you pursue when they do run the other way? Because you obviously have to – protect your area as well? Um, well, I try to do it's It's just cut it off. It's like, so if it's a run play, I try to cut the play off. So whoever is behind me chasing the ball it, that down the line or, you know, from a linebacker position, I try to just do that, really. Um, I try to cut the play off so, you know, I don't want them to get outside of me because a lot of times, you know, I'm contained and stuff like that. So, um, you know, I, I, I'm just trying to just go out there and just, just do my job and play fast. You know, playing fast, you know, I feel like the – there's some times where, you know, I, I get, I, I do get tired and I don't go out immediately. Um, I do sometimes don't get like the effort I needed to, but um, you know, I, I, I still try to do as best as I can. You know? Is that what happened to you uh, when you got some friendly fire there and got hit there when you were trying to pursue? Your guy hit you and you got shook up. Oh yeah, that yeah, I hurt. I ain't gonna lie. Um, <laughs> I literally thought my whole chest was like caving in. But you, you didn't know, even feel it. Didn't even, I, mean, you didn't I was even just see like, him, right? I, no. Well, I seen him, but I just didn't expect him to go down. Like I thought I was just t you know touching or whatever. But yeah, it definitely hurt, you know. But I mean, I'm fine, so I'm cool. So many years into this now, and <clears throat> talking about how you get moved one way and the team goes the other way, but your goals are, are clearly in mind beyond college. Do you evaluate yourself even harsher now, or even plays that you do make? Do you think yeah. yourself? I made that play, but that play night might not be open on Sunday. Yeah, um, I definitely critique myself a lot, and, and you know, the coaches, Coach Jackson, Coach Leslie, do too, um, and my brother. He he tells me even during the game, I like we communicate, you know, from sideline, well, not sideline, but in the stands to the field. I, I like there's sometimes like I don't know if y'all catch it, but there's sometimes where I might just look up there and might do something or like ask them if, it, if that was good or how was that. Um, I always want feedback, you know. I, if anything, you know, if it, if it's, if it's a good or a bad play, I still want feedback no matter what, just because I just want to learn from my mistake and just try to do better next time. You have maybe more one on ones with, with Coach Leslie. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, I, I talk to you know Coach Jackson and Coach Leslie all the time, and, 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 and it's really how teams are protecting and stuff like that. So I just try to, you know, like I said I, I'm just going out there and just I'm just doing what you know the best I can do for the team. That's all. I imagine yeah. that it also helps with any frustration of 
well, what could I do here because they're scheming against me and they're going the other way when I'm put yeah. here. I'm sure they're telling you, hey, that's not going to be an excuse at the next level. You can yeah, still make it right, exactly. There. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that next level, you know, that ain't an excuse. I mean, it ain't an excuse now. I'm not, I'm not trying to make an excuse. I'm just, like I said, I'm just doing my job. If the play goes the other way, I can't really do anything about that, so. You mentioned, you mentioned uh, taking advice from uh, what conversation with Darius. How, how, during the game, from the stands, uh, singles or, 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 or? Like, or, or, I'm, 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 me and him got our own, like, our own language and like we understand each other without even like you know to really saying anything so he might just be like stay lower or he might be like that was all right or like just go like you know go and stay low it's, 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 it, there's certain things that we say to each other or like you know on the sideline I might come off the field he might just say like something quick so but you know, other than that you know after the game you know, I watch film we watch film together so you know. you yeah watch yeah uh, What's it like having your brother support you like that? I mean, it's a. Um, yeah, I, mean, I love it. You know, it's definitely, you know, he, he's definitely frustrated with what's going on in his career right now. Um, you know, yeah, he, like, he, he, he wishes he was still, you know, like you know, a, a summer playing, but, you know, like, he, he enjoys I me. Mean, I enjoy it. Um, you know, it's someone to talk to when you go home and, you know, ask some questions on how you did. And, and, and just have someone there to just, just chat with, you know, a, bad, if you had a good or bad game, and you know, have someone to go home and, you know, talk to and, and, and get advice from. What, you, what advice can you give him as far as his career goes? I mean, I know you haven't experienced it yet, but. Yeah, I mean, just, just as a, a keep your head down because, like, he, he works out every day still. Like, he, he, he's still on the grind. So, um, he has a couple opportunities, you know, in, in, like, after the season maybe, but. You know, that's just, you know, it's, it's just how it is business. So, and like he, he's preached to me over and over, it is business. So, no matter how good, if you're injured, it, it can happen to anybody. Dante, you're obviously familiar with Texas Tech and their style. And, you know, they're the most pass happy team in the league. So, uh, you know, is there anything unique, you know, to trying to defend that, uh, the pass rush style? I mean, obviously they pass more. I mean, uh, great opportunities there. I mean, yeah, heavy pass. Um, like I said, the last game I was talking about out there, I think they ran like 108 plays, 109 plays, and that's the most I've definitely played. Uh, you know, um, so with them, you know, it's, it's really just getting down and lined up because, like, they're very high tech. I say high tempo. So I, mean, I was watching Oklahoma State on TV, not, or the Oklahoma State game on TV, and I saw, like, they were like – it was like 20 seconds from the snap of the ball to the next play. So it's just really just – it's really just get to the call, get lined up, and play fast, really, so – I was going to say, I mean, how do you prepare yourself for that tempo? I and mean, you've obviously faced it before. What do you tell your guys? Um, just be prepared. You know, like, like there's times out there where you're going to be really tired, but, you know, it's, it, it's next play. You know, it, it's, it's, it's very fast. Uh, not a lot of time for thinking. You, you can't be out there wandering around like, oh, you know, is it the, like this play is going to happen, this play is going to happen. So you got to get lined up um, and, and do your job. Walk me through the anatomy of a, of a blocked PAT field goal. Do you see it in tape to begin with? That maybe they're a little light in a gap, and when you shoot it, what happens? Go through the whole thing. Um. So like, well, during the game, I, I, I was getting frustrated myself. Not you know, because like when I, when I go to the game, I do want to make you know them, them game changing plays and and that spark. Um. You know, during I wasn't doing that, and then you know, but I noticed you know like for first PAT. You know, he got he he held me. Second PAT got a little lighter, so it started to get really like he wasn't like one to block. So like, you know, so that last one I I got I, got, I just got you know he scored, so I got mad and I was just like, listen, like I gotta do something. So you know, I just did best I can, tight and got it. So yeah. You know when you slipped the gap, you had a yeah. chance. Yeah, yeah, I knew. Yeah, I knew. Yeah, I knew as soon as I, 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 I like got through and like being being able to like get one the, the leg that usually I don't get through. I, I know, yeah. How yeah. many times you've been out here with Texas Tech? It's my third time. Third time. Yeah, I, yeah, thir yeah. So eighteen, twenty, and yeah, yeah, this year. Do you have any advice for your guys? I mean, it's a different environment. Win, yeah, the whole deal. Is that? It's definitely you know I, I, the locker room's horrible. But you know, I say, but no, I'm gonna be. But at the same time, you know, it, it, it is a, like I'm not saying it has to be perfect because it's, 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 it's you know it's a weight team's locker room. But um, you know, it, it just go out. And it's, it's really just start fast. Um, if you let them you know, get going and 
get a, a flow and high tempo, it's gonna be hard to stop. So if we, if we, you know, if we stop them on first, second down, I feel like you know it's a high chance of, of us you know winning the game. Do you feel any extra sense of motivation off the recent losses to Texas Tech? Yeah. Kind of wanting to cap things off. With yeah, I don't think I, I haven't beat Texas Tech, so I definitely want to beat them from you know from my last year. That's that like I mean that's for everybody, but for Texas Tech, you know that's I definitely you know have my have my mind on this game. Dante, do you feel like you're being double teamed more this year? And then is there an art to handling a double team because you know two on one? I mean in real life that's not a fair fight. Yeah, um, there's a lot of ways. There's, there's uh you know. If it's if it's during the run, you gotta beat the guy in front of you first, and you, you can't worry about you know the second guy. Um, there's there's a couple of times where you know I would turn too early to, for for a double team, and you know he would you know overget me, turn me stuff like that. So it's really about you know pressing and lock peak and you know pressure. It's um it's definitely hard. Like it's harder than what people think. Like cause people think it's you know it's really easy, but there's three fit there's three forty. You know you don't know how how much guys weigh. So. You know, it's, um, I can't I, I can't use that as an excuse, you know. But like at the next level, you know, it's it's, it's going to be even harder. So you know, I just got to find ways, you know, this week in practice to improve that. So are, are you being double teamed more this year? Do you feel? Or? Yeah, but you know, I can't. Like I said, like, I can't like I can't worry about that. I I, I just got to try to just you know do my job and, and and play as fast as possible. You were pretty active at the end of the game. Um, how much that has to do with the just the momentum for you or for the defense from the the block PAT? Um. You know, I, I I feel like you know, like at first, you know, I, I didn't realize like what was going on when I when I blocked it because I was just like, oh crap, where's the ball? But you know, I, once you know, once they once we scored and I realized like you know, I feel like and I saw our bench, you know, I feel like we were very like up again, you know, because after they scored, I feel like everybody was just like, oh dang. But like you know, after that, I I wanted to make a play in the situation, so I just you know, I, I did the best of my, my ability and then it happened, you know. Rest of the way. Yeah, uh, you know, because I knew, like, at that point, like, because I feel like once I make a, you know, play, you know, my own, you know, I, I, I feel that, you know, I get that energy in myself that, you know, I feel like I can go out there and just, you know, and run around. So. Yeah. Thank you, Dante. For sure.